Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be ranking every LEGO Marvel 2021 Summer Minifigure. We're going to be going through each and every one of them, of which there are 30 for this ranking specifically. There are a few exclusions from the Summer Wave of Marvel sets, including figures that we've received in previous sets, and also figures as well from the Daily Bugle set, specifically some of the characters that aren't as well known, and just ones where I wouldn't have too much to say, including like Peter Parker, Gwen Stacy, characters like that where it's pretty general just sort of city looking designs so those aren't going to be included in the ranking but don't worry J. Jonah Jameson is going to be included because of course he's a main and new like sort of design for the character within that set but that's going to be about the only exemptions from this list here and keep in mind as well it's all based on my personal opinion as well so please let me know your rankings down below for these figures but without further ado let's get straight into it here and begin with number 30. Alright, so first up here we have Pepper Potts, and her minifigure honestly isn't anything too spectacular. It's pretty generic looking, I must say. Now, I'm not saying that there's too much you can do with Pepper Potts, and especially with this appearance here in Iron Man 1, but I just don't think there's really anything too phenomenal here, so that's why it lands on the bottom of the list. Next up here, we have a micro figure of Ant-Man right here, and I am including micro figures and big figures in this ranking here, so of course, here's Ant-Man, and I think he has a nice design to him. There's really nothing wrong with this figure. It's just that compared to other minifigures within the ranking, this one can't really stand against them, in my opinion, so that's why it's closer to the bottom of the ranking. Then next up here we have the Hydra Soldier, and you'll kind of see throughout this list, I'm not a huge fan of the characters that aren't really like main characters. Now I don't think the printing on this guy is bad by any means, I actually really like the torso details there, I think those look really fantastic, but the rest of the figure is honestly a bit lackluster. Now we've got Tony Stark right here, specifically from the Sakarian Iron Man mech set, and this one here is a pretty decent figure. It just doesn't feel like anything too spectacular, because we've seen previous versions of Tony, and I don't think there's anything too amazing with this iteration here, don't get me wrong. I do like the printing on the torso there, but it's not enough to put this one higher up on the list. Now we've got Obadiah Stane right here, who honestly I think is a fantastic looking figure, and they did a great job of depicting Jeff Bridges here as the character. I really think the face print there just absolutely nails it. It can be a bit of a gamble with Lego and face prints, especially with the Marvel characters, and I think they really did nail it here with the design, and I think the torso fits really well also, so it just comes together to make a really great and accurate looking design. Now we've got a Shatari right here, and honestly, I really do like the new designs here for the Shatari. I think that the actual printing looks so great on the face right there. It looks really menacing and a bit scary as well. And then on the torso, it has some great details also. Now, of course, with Marvel, you'll see a running theme of no leg printing, and I feel like it looks a little bit weird on here. It feels like there should be some sort of continuation from the torso, but still, nonetheless, I think it's a pretty cool figure and definitely would be a fun one to army build. Now we've got J. Jonah Jameson here, an absolutely fantastic looking figure. I love this face print here specifically. It does have a dual-sided face, but this one here is definitely by far my favorite of just the web over his mouth. I think that is so great and capturing such a funny moment as well between Spider-Man and J. Jonah Jameson. So just very cool right there. It's definitely a fantastic looking figure and one of my favorites from the Bugle. Now we've got Valkyrie right here, and I think that she looks pretty darn good. I do like her torso printing there, and I think her face looks really great as well. It's just that this figure isn't anything too spectacular overall in the grand scheme of this ranking, but I still do like the design and have an appreciation for it. Yeah. 
Then we've got the Watcher right here, a really highly desirable character that people have been wanting in the Marvel sets, and it's so great that we're getting this as a minifigure right here. Now, I have heard some people saying it would have been a great opportunity to use that new Thanos head and print the Watcher's face on it, because then you'd have an enlarged head on the minifigure body, and it would look a bit more accurate to the actual design of the Watcher, so I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity there, but I can also understand why they might not want to do that but I think it's still a stellar looking figure. It's got some great printing on it and I just love that we're getting a watcher. Now we've got Mantis right here, and I'm so excited that we're getting another figure of this character because I never was able to get the previous version, and this one honestly looks quite similar to that one, but I think she looks really great, and her torso printing also looks really nicely detailed, so I do like the figure quite a bit overall. Next up here, we've got Captain Marvel, one of the figures that is just absolutely being torn apart for not having leg printing here, but I think her torso honestly looks really great and definitely pulls the figure together quite well. I can definitely understand the complaints, however, with the actual lack of leg printing there, but I do like the overall look of the figure and I like the dog trainer hair piece as well there in that color. I think it suits her really well from her design and accurate look from Endgame, so I definitely Definitely do like that quite a bit and I think it's a really great looking figure. Next up here, we've got Captain America, specifically in his suit from Age of Ultron, and this is honestly a really great looking figure, but I will say, it's getting difficult to kind of distinguish every Captain America suit. It's not like Spider-Man or Iron Man, where I feel like there's really big differences. For me, personally, I can just find it really difficult to kind of, like, distinguish which suit Captain America is in, specifically for each figure, but I definitely do love getting variations like this, so I still do welcome it and I think it's still a really great looking figure. Next up here we have Wanda aka Scarlet Witch and she looks pretty darn good. I know this figure has a few complaints surrounding it, especially the face print there. It definitely is not really matching the emotion that Wanda is supposed to have in Endgame, so that is a little bit disappointing I would say, but I still do really like the torso. I just like that we're getting another version of Wanda as well, so that's really cool also. So it's still a good figure and I actually like the hair piece as well. I've seen some complaints about that but I don't mind it in all honesty, so I would say that overall it's a pretty darn good figure. Now we have Thanos here, the Endgame minifigure, and I like that they're actually doing minifigure versions of Thanos. I love that we're getting the big figure versions as well, but it is nice to have a minifigure like variant as well, and I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park here. This would be one of the main reasons why I would want to pick up the Sanctuary 2, and I know I've seen some people saying, why does this version of Thanos get leg printing, but then Captain Marvel doesn't, and honestly, I don't really understand the rationale either behind leg Lego's decision there, but still, I will not say no to this fantastic printing here on both the torso and the legs. It looks so great. I love his facial expression as well. There's just a lot of emotion behind this figure and some great detail as well, so it's definitely one of my favorites. Well, right now we have Teen Groot right here, and I'm so excited that we're getting a more accurate version here. Now, I will say the facial expression looks a little bit off, but other than that, I think the torso and the legs look absolutely phenomenal. That is what I love to see, is just some great connection there between the torso and the leg printing. It really just flows super well through this figure, and I think he looks honestly so great. Now we've got Rocket Raccoon right here looking absolutely fantastic. I love this version and kind of the same comments as Teen Groot with making it a more accurate version of the character here. And I love his endgame outfit as well. I think it looks so great with the goggles up top there and the torso printing looks fantastic. So just nailing it there with the design. I think he looks absolutely amazing and will go really great with the rest of the Guardians.
Now we have Star-Lord here and he looks absolutely amazing. I really do love his design here. The torso has such great printing on it and I love the dual molded legs as well because if we can't get printed legs then at least give us dual molded legs and that is so great to see. And then his hair as well looks fantastic. It really does suit his look very well. So I really do love this figure. I'd argue it's one of the most accurate versions we've gotten of Star-Lord thus far. So I really just do love this figure. Now we have Iron Man Mark III right here, and it's so cool to see them revisiting like classic Iron Man suits through that Iron Monger set. So very cool to see this iteration here. I think he looks so great with that printing on both the torso and the legs. I know whenever there's leg printing, you're gonna hear me just gush about it, but it looks fantastic. I really do love that. I think there's so much great detail here. It's honestly one of my favorite Iron Man suits right here. I love them using that older style helmet as well, where you can have actually lift up the faceplate. I think that is so cool. So definitely just a fantastic and phenomenal looking figure. Next up here we have Shuri and I'm so excited that we have this new version of her. I think it's definitely one of the best looking figures of this character. She looks absolutely amazing. Her face print is just phenomenal. Her torso as well. Now there is a lacking of leg printing here but I still think that the detail on the face and the torso definitely pull it back and make for a fantastic looking design here. I really do love the use of the coder from series 19 as well. Her hair piece there that looks really phenomenal so it's just a great looking figure with some really nice details. Now we've got Captain America here in his Endgame suit and I really do love the more toned down color scheme of this one. Don't get me wrong, I like it when Captain America has a bright looking suit but I think this one just really does a great job of depicting sort of the tone of Endgame as a whole especially in that final battle, the more serious tone of it and I think it's captured really well within this suit here. I just like the more sleek design. I think it works really well for Cap and kind of makes me think of like the Winter Soldier as well which is is one of my favorite MCU films so definitely just a stellar looking design there such great printing and I really do love this figure Okay, now we've got Black Panther right here looking absolutely amazing with this much more accurate version here with the purple energy surging through his suit right there. I love how it's capturing that as well and I think it just looks so great in the design there. The torso printing is some of the best that I've seen for the character and the face as well looks really good. So it's just fantastic. I feel like I'm making a lot of the same comments for each figure but they're honestly once we hit this point just all amazing. Now we've got a character that I honestly never thought we would get in physical Lego minifigure form and that is the Punisher. It is so cool that we're getting this character in the Daily Bugle set but you can definitely tell that Lego is trying to hide that fact because you can see in a lot of the marketing for that set that you well can't see the Punisher in any of it so it's definitely an interesting strategy but I can see why of course the character is a bit more controversial with his tactics within the actual like fictional story but I still think it's so great that we now have this character in physical form. I can't wait to get my hands on this figure. I love that they use dual molded legs as well. I think it just really pulls off the design super well and I love the torso. I don't think they could have done it in any sort of better way. So it just really does look super great and it's just a fantastic figure. Now we have Thor from Endgame right here and I think this figure has grown on me the most out of any of these Marvel figures. Honestly at first I was quite disappointed with this one. For one, the beard there, I wasn't a huge fan of how it was printed on the face there instead of being molded together with the hair piece there but honestly it's grown on me quite a bit and I think it actually looks really great and I love the emotion that it can show as well on Thor's face. I think that's definitely a big advantage with this sort of look that he has going on so I do appreciate that quite a bit and I think the hair piece honestly works really well. The torso has fantastic details also so it just really matches his design super well so I really do love this design. <laughs> 
Next up here we have Firestar, and I feel like this is going to be one of the more underappreciated figures within the Daily Bugle, just because of course the character isn't that well known. I'm not saying that I'm like an expert on this character or anything, but I just love that we're getting such a unique character like this from the Marvel Universe. It's really cool to get to see that, and I hope that they do that more in like these comic book based sets. I think it's so cool when we get these more obscure characters, and I think she honestly looks so great. The torso print looks great. I love Love that hair piece in that red coloring there face print is really fantastic so it's just overall makes for a really great looking design Now we have Black Cat right here, and I was so excited to hear that we were getting this figure in the Daily Bugle set, and when I saw it officially revealed, oh my goodness, it just blew me away. She looks so amazing. I really do love the look of her design there. Her torso print looks really great, although I will point out that on her necklace there, the actual like charm kind of looks like a power signal. I don't know what it is if anyone else has seen that or kind of made that connection, but I thought that was kind of funny, but nonetheless, she she looks so great. I really do love her design here. I think the hair piece fits really well also and her face printing looks so great as well. Dual molded legs also to top it all off. So just a phenomenal design and I'm so so glad that we have this character now in minifigure form. Another figure from the Daily Bugle right here is Blade, and I honestly didn't even think we'd get this character in minifigure form. It's kind of like the same sort of case as the Punisher, except with this one, it was kind of more that I just forgot about the character Blade. Of course, there is going to be a Blade film releasing at some point, so I'm sure this figure is going to become pretty valuable if it winds up staying exclusive to this set here, but it's definitely so cool to have this character here in minifigure form. I think that's one of the best things that the Daily Bugle did was giving us characters that we wouldn't normally get within Marvel sets. So it's just a fantastic looking design, such a cool and classic character as well. And I think they just nailed his look. All right, I know I'm on a bit of a spree here with the Daily Bugle figures, but I promise this is the last one here, and it is Daredevil. I think he looks so phenomenal, such a great design. After watching the Netflix series of Daredevil, especially after season three, I just absolutely fell in love with the character. I think it's so cool that we now have a minifigure version of him. Of course, not specifically that version from Netflix, but the comic book version here, but I think nonetheless, he looks so amazing. I I think they just nailed the design here. It looks so fantastic. And once again, it's just so cool to get these characters that I never thought we would have in physical minifigure form. So it's just really exciting. Now we have the only big fig here on the list, and I couldn't not put him near the top of the list here. I know he's not a minifigure, so if you don't want to consider him in the list, then just take it as Daredevil being my number two spot, but Thanos here is in the number two spot here in my ranking, and he just looks amazing. I love this big fig so much, and I absolutely love that you can rotate the head, you can take it off. The actual, like, torso and the legs there look so amazing, so much great detail there. Thanos just looks so cool here and I can't wait to get my hands on this figure and then like put the infinity gauntlet on him I think it's gonna look so cool I love the expression as well I'm just so 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 glad that I have like that we have an MCU accurate version of Thanos now in like Lego form it is just so so cool so I definitely just love this figure a ton and I think it just looks really great All right, now in the number one spot here, we have Iron Man Mark 85, and the detail on this figure is just out of this world. I think it's got to be my favorite of the Iron Man suits in minifigure form. It just honestly looks spectacular. There's so many great details here on the torso and the legs as well. So great to be seeing that. You get to see it quite often on Iron Man suits, I would say, but still, it's so great there. And I love the gold arms as well, and then the red also in the hands. 
and on the torso and the legs they're looking so great and then also the helmet looks really phenomenal I love the like blue visor eyes right there and then like oh it just all comes together to make what I would call a perfect Iron Man minifigure it's just honestly fantastic so yeah just overall my favorite of this wave Alright, so that's going to conclude the video here for my ranking of every LEGO Marvel Summer 2021 minifigure. I hope you did enjoy the video. Be sure to let me know your rankings down below in the comment section because I'm sure they're going to differ from my own here. And if you did enjoy the video, it would be highly appreciated if you could leave a like. Also, subscribe as well if you would like to check out some of my other content. So, thank you so much. I will see you all next time and always remember, keep on collecting.